All right, this tutorial is going to show us how to use the news article feature in CMS Made Simple. It's an add-on. It's a great add-on. Now, for our particular website, we are going to be using this for a, a, a breeder. And what we're going to use this article for, or this uh, application, is to show available puppies in their available puppies tab here. So uh, that's the great thing about this is you don't have to just use it for news articles. You can also use it for other things that you may want to set expiration dates on or, or whatnot. So we're going to show all these available puppies in a little different format uh, that will be easier to edit and keep organized. So first thing we're going to do is go to our login panel and log in. Now this tutorial is assuming that you have already installed the news uh, article application for CMS and, and it's ready to go. This is not going to show you the installation part. So to begin actually adding articles onto our website, we're going to go under the content tab and click where it says news. Now the first thing that we're going to have to do is create different a different category because you can actually have multiple different things. Let's say we wanted to have one uh, article type deals where it's uh, showing us available puppies. Well, I can create an available puppies category and then let's say on another portion of the website I didn't want to have a news article. Well, I can create another category where I can edit those separately. So we're going to go ahead and add an, another category for our available puppies. And then click submit. Now once we do that, I'm going to go to articles. Now whenever I click articles, uh, or under articles, this is where I actually add the specific information that I want to show up in any different category. So for our available puppies, each puppy that is available that we're trying to sell is going to be its own article. So if you were using this application for a news feature, every new news item about your company, about your website, would be a separate article. So we're going to click Add Article. And then once we click Add Article here, now we're going to have all of our information displayed. We've got a lot of stuff to fill out here. Now the title is what's actually going to show up as the title, so we can say that uh, this, this particular title can be the name of the puppy. So we'll just say Puppy's Name. We'll, we'll actually give this puppy a name. Let's say this is Sally. Now under the category, this is going to determine where this particular article displays. So for example, let's say that we did have this under, uh, we had an available puppies category, which is on one, top, one page on the website, and then we had a news category, which is on another. Well, we, this was going to tell it where to put this article, in the available puppies section or in the news section, etc. So we're going to click on this and go to available puppies. Now the summary tab is just basically uh, if you want to have a portion, like let's say for a news article, we could have this where on a sidebar it gives us a very small information and then the user can click on this more information link and then it'll display all the information in this bottom part in the content area. Now we're not going to use this for, for this particular application for available puppies. We're not going to use this content portion. We're only going to use the summary portion. And this works just like if you were to edit a page. If you want to insert an image, we can do that right here. We're going to go ahead and insert an image of a particular puppy, so we're going to click that. We're going to find our image. And we've already created a folder full of all of these pictures of available puppies. And so we're going to click this little jib, this little picture right here. And as you would with any other picture, you can change the settings. We're going to make this alignment left, which as you can tell right in here, this shows how the picture is going to display. So right now the text is going to show at the bottom. We want it to show all the way to the top. And then that, notice how that changes. This is a way too big of a picture, so we're going to change this to around 400. The vertical space, this is in pixels. So whenever I change that, it's going to put 10 pixels above and below, and you can put that to whatever you want. And then 10 pixels to the left and right. If we wanted to, we could add a border. That's also in pixels. We're not going to add a border. So we just inserted a picture. Now we've got our puppy right here. If we wanted to insert another picture, we would simply insert another picture.
change the information here. 400. Insert. And then we've got our, another picture right here. No, it looks like it didn't get the actual the uh, size settings, but we're going to delete this picture. So once you get all the pictures inputted that you would like to put in this particular article, you can start typing in the information. Uh, we'll say, Sally wants a home. We'll just keep it simple for now. Once you put all your content in that you want, you'll scroll down here, and again, this part we're not going to put any information in here. The post date is when this is actually going to post onto your website. The cool thing about this is, let's say that you're using this for a news application, we can use an expiration date. And so what that's going to do is we're going to say we want to start this to show up on our website on October 21st, 2011 at 8 a.m. And then let's say that this particular uh, at news article or whatever is uh, going to be over with on April 18th or whatever whatever particular date that you want to choose here. Well, this will automatically take it off your website on the end date so that way you don't have to go back in and update your content. You can completely forget about it. Now for this application, we're not going to use expiration dates because we want to wait till these puppies are sold before we take them off of our, uh, our website. So once we got all this information input, we hit submit and we just added a new article. Oh, it's asking us for some content, so I'm just going to put some in there. Click Submit. Now once you click Submit, it's going to show up right here. It's going to tell you what category it's in. It's in our available puppies. You can create a news article. Right now there's a general article. It's going to tell us when it was post-dated. The, stat, the status is if this is, wor if this is online, if this is showing on your website. If this is set, let's say for whatever reason Sally might be sold and we want to take her offline for just for now, we can click that button and it's not going to display anymore. We'll click it right back up again. And then it'll display it once more on our website. If we want to go and change some information about Sally, we can click on this edit button. But let's say Sally does get sold, or our news article is, is now no longer uh, needed, we can click the delete button right here. Some other little bit of information. Uh, this, is, this is some filters we can show in this particular deal. Let's say that we've got a couple different categories. We can show just our available puppies category. If we just want to see our puppies and not get confused, and that'll change this down here. If we just wanted to see our general, then it's going to just show that. And then how it's sorted, then how many per page we're going to be able to see. All right, once we got all that, now we want to actually put this on a website. Now, uh, on, on a, or on a specific page. Now, the way that you do that is if we go into module help, you'll get the little tag. CMS works off of tags with these applications. Now this little tag right here where it says news, that's the tag we're going to put in, that we're going to use to actually put it in our website. So I'm going to go to my page here, content, pages, and we'll go to available puppies. And then we're just going to simply paste that and we got the news. Now if we have multiple categories like we, we do in our news, we've got available puppies and we've got a general. We need to tell that particular one which category to show. And so to do that, if we go into module help, you'll see a whole bunch of other deals right here that we can change the information. And what we're going to use is category. So for example, we're just going to include this in our tag, copy that, go back to our pages, available puppies. Looks like it's going to take a little bit to load. And inside this tag, we're going to include that. We're going to change this to available puppies. I'm going to apply that, and then I'm going to view it just to make sure that it worked. So now here's our information. So now we've got our available puppies and uh, all of our all of our items. If we wanted to click this more button, that's whenever we get to view all the content information on that second box. 
For this particular application, we're not going to use that. You can go into different templates and remove all of this information or keep some of it and remove other parts of it, whatever you'd like to do on that. But this is how you put those on the website. And you notice that it, it works now just fine. Now, if I was to go in and delete this particular article, then this, this would go away. And if we had multiple ones, it would just simply make the next one rise to the top. So that is how you use news application in CMS Made Simple. If you have any further questions, feel free to shoot an email to us.